There is one technique I've come across that at first I wasn't sure what it was about, just that I noticed I would sometimes do this accidentally. So I decided to do research to learn about it so that I could consciously tap into this trick whenever I wanted. Now I will admit, at the time of this video, I'm still working on this technique myself and it has the possibility to drain you a bit because of the amount of focus required to pull it off. It also is very easy to break this focus in several ways which is why it's still taking me so long to master it. But I'm confident that one day I will, and hopefully I can teach you this today, and you can do it too. And likely learn quicker than me as well. Okay, that's enough of the baby stuff before you guys think I'm going to suggest something ridiculous. Something that our eyes do every day is something called psychotic masking. When your eyes move from one object to another, that in-between movement is not seen by you. It's your brain's way of saying that information isn't important enough to process, and essentially makes you blind for that very brief moment. It happens to us every day, constantly, all the time we don't even notice it. In fact, it happens so much that those fractions of a second you are blind add up to about 40 minutes a day. So 40 minutes a day you are blind to what you see when your eyes are open. It is an efficient method for switching between what you want to look at quickly. A good example is if you look into a mirror moving your eyes back and forth, left to right, it will look like your eyes are not moving at all. But of course to someone else they clearly see your eyes moving. This is psychotic masking. It would be pretty disorienting and very slow if you had to look at everything in between the targets you're switching to constantly. But for Overwatch, I believe this is exactly what you need to learn to do. The downside to psychotic masking is when it comes to keeping track of a moving target. It's not bad by any means, but I believe there is a better way. When you're attempting to keep track of a target, then there is a chance that you will quote unquote overshoot your prediction of where they will be and they'll end up in that in-between space that you are essentially blind to and you can lose track of your target. The solution to this is called Smooth Pursuit. That's what it's really called, you can Google it. Smooth Pursuit is exactly how it sounds. It's making your eyes move slower so that you can keep track of your target. It's actually slower than normal psychotic masking, but it allows you to do less work when lining up your crosshair. I personally notice the improvement almost like night and day when I'm consciously doing this. There are some exercises you could do to help improve your smooth pursuit. These videos I'll leave in the description as I believe they are a nice warm up for your eyes. All you do is simply follow the moving targets as closely as you can without trying to move ahead of it. In addition, I will say that when you are in the spawn room and doing a little warm up, don't just shoot something at the wall or aim at one of your teammates. I don't think this does much in terms of a warm up. Instead, warm up your smooth pursuit by moving as fast as you can and try not to instigate a psychotic movement in your eyes. It's like a mini game. Move as smoothly as you can with your eyes and if you do a psychotic movement, you lose and start again. See how long you can do it for and how fast you can move. It's also important to keep your crosshair matching your eye movement for a one to one ratio as much as you can. Now there are some caveats I noticed that I think you should be aware of. Some of these may not apply to you, or maybe other things I will forget to mention here, but these things can very likely throw off your smooth pursuit efficiency and take you out of the moment. Worrying about the other guy. It happens to me where there's a good McCree or Widow on the other team that just headshots you as soon as you poke your head. The last thing you want to do is turn your focus to worrying about them shooting you. Now let me explain if that didn't make sense. I don't mean ignore them, I mean when you're in an engagement, your focus should be on your own aiming and performance. As soon as you start worrying about them shooting you, you'll get the feeling like, oh my god, oh my god, don't hit me, don't hit me, I just need to get into this room and everything will be okay, I'll be safe. That shift of focus can throw off your smooth pursuit that requires pretty much all of your focus, which leads into the next thing that can throw it off. Low health. When you are low and say it's quick play or maybe your healer isn't that great, then you will be looking for that health pack. This can definitely take the focus away from your smooth pursuit because now your focus is on running away to find a health pack. You may even turn around completely and put your back towards the enemy in order to try and escape. There isn't much you can do about this situation, just be aware of it so that when you are back to full health you can do your smooth pursuit again. Expecting an enemy position. If there is a bastion that likes a certain corner then you will start to expect him to be there again after you come back from spawn, and he will likely be there. Same for any other hero in the game. If they have a predictable position on the map or even controlling a room, you will start to envision them in your mind that they are there to the point where you will ignore what's in front of you and this can cost you dearly. While it is very important to read your enemy, you don't want to commit to your predictions so much that you don't leave room for alternative outcomes. 
Like a Bastion that has you tilted because he's in one corner most of the match and destroying your whole team only to switch to the other corner because you expected him to still be in the first position he was in. This takes away from your smooth pursuit skill. Because it takes you almost completely out of the moment which is required if you want to do some really good tracking. Which reminds me, tilting can definitely take you out of the moment. Trust me, I get it. I have been known to yell at other players about what they are doing wrong. Even my own friends. That's just part of who I am. But I do realize the downsides to tilting. You don't have to see it as promoting yourself to become a better person, which is something we could all do, right? But instead, look at it as a huge detriment to your own game and your ability to play at your best. I know how easy it is to blame things on your teammates, and your criticisms are probably right. But by paying attention to what your teammates are doing, you are not paying attention to your own performance. And I guarantee you will start making mistakes that you will not notice because you're busy telling the Mercy to stop poking ahead of the Reinhardt and getting killed which will get you tilted and you will lose hope in actually winning that match. And because of that lack of hope, you are pretty much guaranteeing that you will not play at your best and your ability to do smooth pursuit will be impossible. This is all coming from experience, so I know a lot about tilting. I think the most important thing about keeping your smooth pursuit going is to learn to stay in the moment. It's tough to explain because it's important to predict enemy ultimates, positioning, your own team's plans and execution of that plan. This is all about the future, but you have to be able to master the ability to tune everything out when you are engaged in a firefight and make sure your aim is on point. I've mentioned this before in other videos, but I'll say again. I actually learned this from a sports psychologist. If you find yourself taking it out of the moment due to emotions leading to tilting or whatever, simply point out three things that you see on your screen at that very moment, three things you hear, and three things you can physically feel. And that should be enough to get you back into the moment out of your head that's full of doubts, anger, frustration, or whatever. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Hope this made sense. What do you guys think? Will this help you improve your aim, or do you feel this is just some psychology mumbo-jumbo? Let me know your thoughts below. I'm really interested. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.